Hi, I'm Gary with BB Infinite. Welcome to our shop. Come on in and check it out. All right, well, what we do here is we make bottom brackets in Little Rock, Arkansas. So what kind of bottom brackets do we make? We make one-piece bottom brackets. This is the key to performance that we have found. It is essentially a hub. Let me show you. Right here, I already have mocked up on our uh, sweet BB30 dub model. You can tell it's like a hub on the front wheel of your bicycle, except you are pressing it into the frame. And then it's doing this, just like that. And that's how we're getting famous. But um, let me show you how they're made. So come on, check it out. This is our little production facility. It's a Saturday, so we're not quite as busy as we would normally be. Not as many people here. But you can say, tell it's a small footprint. We get a lot done in a very small space. I'm gonna introduce you right now to Wes. Wes is our engineer, and he is the machinist extraordinaire. Wes, what are you doing? Uh, we're turning out Preston 38, Preston bottom brackets right now. Take a look. Now the press, now the press fit 38 bottom brackets are going to be for all of your uh, Cannondales that are so popular right now. It's going to be for the uh, you're going to have it in the Evo, of course, the 2020 Evo in the Super uh, in the System Six, which there's one right over there. It's a really wonderful bike. And uh, they're going to be putting it out in a lot of other bikes in the near future. So, so we got what we do after this first uh, OD cut here is we take a finishing pass. And what I'm going to do after that is I'll open up the machine and uh, we'll go ahead and do a little quality control. We'll measure it out of five decimal places. And uh, we'll take a look at a look at that. And also right behind you, we're going to drive all of our bottom brackets. See machine, make sure all of the internal features are measured right? This takes the human element out of it and gives us the accuracy that we need to fit the bearings <laughs> as accurately as we do. Because a lot of people talk about the lack of tolerances with modern bicycles. And uh, this is true, of course. <laughs> I'm not going to throw any one manufacturer under the bus on that one because they're all kind of in the bus together. <laughs> but uh, if you're gonna have that situation, which is a reality, you need, somebody needs to be accurate. And that's where we come in, the accuracy. Come on over here and check out the measuring. So that's, the, that's the outside, and what I'll do is I'll go ahead and then measure that to make sure we're gonna have a good, nice quality fit in all of the frames that we're working with. You know, a lot of other manufacturers, when they're doing this sort of thing, they will, uh, they'll just run the machine all the way through and they'll just keep running it until a part drops out. They don't do these intermediate checks. That's where the quality really comes in. We, are, we always know what we're making. We always know what we're putting out. So watch the machine restart here. It's, uh, it's really fast. Discarding bottom brackets that we uh, ended up scrapping because not everyone's a perfect fit. So. <laughs> so come on over here and check out. This is where we're lasering all of the product and making it look beautiful just like that. And uh, this is a noisy place, so we generally use noise canceling uh, hearing protection. But uh, this is just our YAG laser uh, churning out. You'll see there. There's a QR code. You know, um, you know, everybody's trying to you know do their part and uh, we're no longer using any kind of paper uh, instructions or anything like that and we've really reduced our packaging and the uh, QR codes uh, are absolutely essential to that because that way we can convey our directions you know our instructions and all that kind of stuff to customers and we can update it at will and, uh, and always keep uh, the most up-to-date like I said uh, best practices for installing our product and interfacing with the manufacturers crank sets which they're always changing things up how they do it so those take about a minute a piece, so there's a little bit of time in there to, uh, I don't know, maybe get a little book read. 
And I'm going to take you now to the calmer place in BB Infinite. It's away from the noise, where you can sit and you can relax in this chair and you can meditate as you put bottom brackets together. It's a beautiful thing, really, uh, when they come together harmonious, like a BB-30 Shimano right here. And you're just like, I wonder what bearings I want. Well, I think I'll have some ceramic bearings. <laughs> and all you have to do is go, hey, well, I got the right dies in there. The only thing I have to do is grab the right bearings, just like that. Make sure the die is in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can feel a nice drag on there, just like that as they go in. Woo-wee! Love it. BB-30, of course, is very popular now. Always has been, but uh, it's had a resurgence of late in uh, specialized bikes. Because somewhere around 2015 or so, they switched over from OSBB, which is a, more like a true press fit, but like a weird 61 millimeter wide one, to just BB-30 uh, in general, which is just 42 by 68. Enough numbers though. This is where we film all of our videos and we work on all the bikes. Um, a lot of these are just brought in from uh, just around here. Uh, people come from Memphis. Once again, we're in Little Rock, so we're very centrally located in the country. So people can go up, come up from Houston and Memphis and, and down from Louisiana. And uh, we have them come by and of course locals. And they will even have us work on their bikes. Uh, we'll do you know, all the speed work for them, such as installing our pulleys, which I should have mentioned, they were right over here on the bench. Uh, these are the ones that we're uh, just really marketing right now and uh, people are loving. Let's go ahead and spin that bad boy up just like that. Look at that. Now these are available, of course. You could probably tell you SRAM guys that they're like, hey, those look like those will fit my Axis Eagle system. Yes, they will. They will also in another guise, fit all of the newer Shimano R8000, R9100, R9, and the R7000 uh, 105 systems, you can put these big boys on there and really reduce some friction with those uh, ceramic tech bearings. So this is where we build, package, and print labels, and ship. Believe it or not, one person just sits in here and does all of that all day long. They build bottom brackets. They package them and they ship them. And when we're not doing that, we're making bottom brackets, we're marking bra bottom brackets, and we're talking about bicycles. And I'll tell you what, that's a great day anytime you can do it. So there you go, guys. BB Infinite's not just made in the USA, it's made in Arkansas. And uh, this is how you want to get rid of those creaks. The one piece bottom bracket system is the only answer to eliminate the creaks permanently and give that mind blowing spin you've been looking for. Hey, thank you, BikeRumor.com, for swinging by. Thank and you, check Tyler. Check us out at bbinfinite.com.